In today's lesson, I want to tell you two stories about Jesus that come together in a neat way. Listen closely. This is a synagogue in the village of Nazareth where Jesus grew up. After Jesus came back from the desert across the River Jordan, he came home to Nazareth. Jesus went to the synagogue, as was his custom, and he went to the reading place and unrolled the scroll of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The people heard what Jesus said and became angry. He was not the Messiah. They knew who he was. He was Mary and Joseph's son. They took Jesus to the edge of the village where there was a cliff. They wanted to throw him off, but he just walked back through the crowd and into the hills. Many days and months went by. Jesus gathered his 12. He did his work. He brought sight to the blind. He healed the sick. He brought hope to the poor. Then he turned to Jerusalem for the last time. Jesus and the twelve came into the city on a Sunday. He taught in the temple courts on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But on Thursday, the temple guards could not find him. That evening, Jesus and the twelve went through the dark and narrow streets. They climbed stairs in a house. They went into the upper room and shared their last supper together. After they had eaten everything they wanted to eat, Jesus did something strange. He took a piece of bread, gave thanks to God for it, and he shared it with the twelve. Then he said, when you share the bread like this, I'll be there. But he was there. Then he took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it, and shared it with them. Then he said, when you share the wine like this, I'll be there. He was always saying things like that. What could he mean? They didn't understand at first, but they did not forget. Later, they would understand. Now watch this. This is the synagogue, and this is the upper room. What Jesus does is he brings them together to make something new. A church. Now, I wonder what we should remember from the Last Supper. I wonder what we should think about when we read things like he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. I wonder what the good news is for us and what our hope is in this Easter season. I wonder if God wants to do something new in us.